Sagittarius. Welcome to June 2020. I hope you are all doing so well and are you ready for the adventure that is June? This is eclipse season. We are in the second half of Venus retrograde and we are starting a Mercury retrograde this month. So there's a lot going on and it's, it's a month of brutal honesty. It is a month of clarifying what it is that really matters to us and it's a month to get familiar with who we are now not who we thought we were supposed to be back in december or january and so this is a really useful time and in many ways i think because the energy has been so heavy hitting the first part of this year june isn't necessarily going to feel out of sorts because of this powerful energy it's more likely going to feel like things start clicking into place and making a little better sense in hindsight and also moving forward. And as I was sitting thinking about Sag energy, um, one of the first things that came to mind is we're, we're <laughs> navigating the softer side of Sagittarius. We're navigating another part of your creative process that I don't always think gets highlighted in discussions about the Sagittarian energy and the Sagittarian soul. And that is really important, which is your sensitivity and um, the soft kind of creative core that you have working within you. And actually a lot of the energy this month is going to be asking you to do that work from that vantage point rather than from sometimes what I think of as kind of your more performative, outgoing, enthusiastic self that you always feel you need to bring to the table, there is another way that you can leverage your energy. And this month is really leaning into that logic. I mean, right off the bat, June 5th, we have a full moon in Sagittarius, and this is a partial lunar eclipse, not highly visible anywhere in the world. It's, it's there. And of course, this is happening as we get used to the Sagittarius South Node energy that we're working with for the next year and a half. And, you know, a lot of people ask me, what does that mean? If I'm a Sagittarius and the South Node of the Moon is in my sign, what does that mean? It's not necessarily here to like rustle up your life and make it all about karma. Nothing like that. What it is going to help you do, though, is release... Um, ideas and paradigms about yourself and your role in the world that aren't serving you anymore. And it's going to be a kind of like a consistent thing that you work through. And this full moon is kind of working in tandem with that, with this eclipse energy to help you feel a little bit freer for maybe some of the boxes you felt you'd need to put yourself into over the last few years. So there's kind of this cathartic release going on with this full moon. Um, it's really powerful energy. I would highly recommend, you know, take care of yourself, slow down if you need to. Um, we also have some interesting things happening. Of course, Venus is going to be in her second half of her retrograde uh, through June 25th in Gemini in your opposite sign. So this is really helping you clarify how you give of yourself, how you feel you're supposed to give of yourself. Um, and once again, all this logic moving through Gemini and Sagittarius right now, which there's a ton in June and just in general right now, is to you know think about freedom for you as being something that emanates from within you as far as how you allow yourself to be in the world and this is a really great time to just notice where you feel you have to step into roles play a chameleon and where that's feeling good and where that is feeling like it's no longer of service to you and allowing yourself to welcome in that shift um, as we move through Gemini season, we move through mirror season where you really get to see yourself clearly. Uh, we also start to move into a really powerful part of the year. The last 10 days of this month are just wild. We have the solstice, the sun moves into Cancer, then June 21st, the new moon in Cancer is also a solar eclipse. And then Neptune goes retrograde and then Venus goes direct and then Mars enters Aries. So all of this happens the last third of the month. And all this move energy moving into Cancer for you, something to keep an eye on because Cancer, especially if you're a Sag rising, is very much eighth house transformative energy. Um, it depends on your house placements, uh, but it's, this is transformative energy. You have a Mercury retrograde, a new moon solar eclipse, and the sun moving through your eighth house uh, as we close out the Venus retrograde in your relationship. So this means a skin shedding process. We are going through the portal that allows us to let go of a skin that is no longer serving. And 
I'm actually really excited this for Sagittarius because I feel like there is needed to be a closeout for a little while around some learning curves that have been with you for a couple of years now. And this is a time where you can feel a little bit more of that freedom from some of those dynamics that have been holding you. So this month is really beautiful for that. And my recommendation time and again for this month is don't run away from the storm. It's not really about lightning strike and disaster, despite the power of eclipses and despite the kind of foggy mysteriousness of retrogrades. Um, and you know, Mercury retrograde and Cancer, Mercury retrogrades and water signs tend to bring up emotions we didn't know we were holding in our bodies, holding in our memory. Um, you know, these are very mystical energies, but they aren't here to tear you apart. They're really not. Ace of Wands, right out of the gate. We're only gonna pull four cards for this month. I'm keeping it really crisp and clear. And I'm doing that very intentionally because this month has so much going on that we need things to stay. Wheel of Fortune, oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Um, six of Swords, oh yeah, and one more. And then we will talk through this, and Five of Swords. So that's fun. <laughs> um, Okay, so as you can see, there is some new sparks being lit in your world. And I love this. These are new beginnings, very playful, exciting shifts. And one thing that I kind of notice with this energy together like this, as we work our way through Gemini season and everything that's going on the first half of the month, I think about how this wheel of fortune doesn't just come out of nowhere, right? It's the wheel of the year, it's the wheel of time, it's the way that there's always that culminating point where something that you've been kind of trying to work out in your head or something you've been waiting for understanding on clicks in, right? It, and you know sometimes i think in our our pain suppressing minds that are very good at downplaying everything we've gone through in the past thinking it wasn't that bad um, makes it seem as though this just comes out of nowhere but of course it doesn't it's the the pathway there has been laid by you showing up every day right so this is the culmination of something really big and once again a full moon lunar eclipse this is the first eclipse in your sign we're going to be having more of them in sagittarius just FYI for the next year and a half. So keep that in mind um, that we're going to continue this process. But this is telling me that something is coming to fruition, closing out and opening up. And this is all about being in the beginning. This is all about welcoming yourself and letting yourself be in the beginning. So stay focused on that. You know, stay focused on the beginning of what it is you are starting here, because there's a lot in this energy that is saying, you can look back and you can look at what's closing out and you can look at how maybe you mishandled things. You can torture yourself by staying up at night and thinking about all the things that you did or didn't do and what have you. But the energy here is asking you and welcoming you into the beginning, into new beginnings. And, you know, once again, the note that came up for me with Sagittarius was that your freedom and your shifts and your changes don't necessarily need to come from you being on your game and socially competent and playing all the roles and being everybody's cheerleader. The, the things that are coming for you are coming from that softer, more hidden aspect of yourself, which so often gets downplayed in conversations with Sagittarian energy, and which are actually really an important, secret, deep part of your process. And I think sometimes you think you're not allowed, like you don't deserve to do your creative, exploratory, transformational work from that joyful, soft, hidden part of yourself that maybe doesn't want to always be on team cheerleader and doesn't always want to be on cloud nine and doesn't want to always be chameleon for everybody else and wants to be a little bit more reserved and a little bit more exploratory of who you're going to be from within that space and that's what I'm noticing with this energy that's that I'm picking up here and just in general that's what June is going to be asking you to look to to find your best information at the at this time 
doesn't necessarily mean you need to go lock yourself up and <laughs> be in be in ascetic mode and and do any of that. There's no extremes here. But what there is is there's a sense that you're allowed to trust that 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 more hushed tone side of yourself. Now it's interesting because there you know with Wheel of Fortune, it's a ten. Right, it's the tenth card. This is the number ten, which is always a close out of something, beginning and end, and the sloughing off of something. And there is something being left behind here. A shore being left. And the thing with this shore that you leave, whatever it is you're leaving behind, an identity, a project, a relationship, uh, a way of viewing yourself, a way of doing your work, whatever it is that you're leaving behind, there is an attachment to it, right? It's something that was familiar and that maybe served you at one time, but there's also this knowing you can't keep up that pace. You can't keep it up without also sacrificing your integrity and your soul. So this is this is a leaving behind and a leave taking, but there's relief in it. You know, the feeling I get is this sense of, oh, I can breathe, I can breathe again. Um, and you know, it's interesting because what I'm noticing you're leaving behind is this five of swords. And this can read in some complex ways, actually. I, Whenever the five of swords comes up, you know, the five is about our growth, right? It's about our growth through an uncomfortable patch. Some place that maybe we don't wanna look at, some place that we, we don't wanna sit in. And the one with the Five of Swords has everything to do with trust and distrust. And, um, you know, first and foremost, do you trust yourself? Do you feel like you will keep reinserting yourself in situations because you wanna be nice? and you want to be uplifting, and you want to be, you know, X, Y, and Z, even though it doesn't feel good to you anymore. It doesn't even have to be about people backstabbing you or betraying you, that you feel you need to shift a little bit. Sometimes we just shift. Sometimes we just need to be somewhere else. And the other way you can look at this is maybe you are in environments, or on projects, or in headspaces that make you feel this icky feeling of, I don't even know if this is right for me or true for me anymore. Um, and, you know, trust yourself when that ickiness shows up inside of you. You know, if you're doing something in your routine or in your day to day, and every time you're doing it, it feels like you're hitting into like an ice block in your heart, that's important to listen to at this time. And these, the eclipses and the Mercury retrograde and the second half of Venus retrograde are all going to help you discern that more clearly because it's really important that you don't feel you need to suppress that and put it down and ignore it and, and, and devalue that feeling in order to be the spark that lights the room up. You know, this, this reading kind of comes full circle because your initiating spark here, your opportunities here, come from you feeling like you can just be yourself. They do not come from plugging back in over and over again, looking over your shoulder into this kind of strange landscape that feels like you're struggling uphill. You know, sometimes challenge and struggle, it's something we learn from, you know, to keep showing up to the table of life even when it's a little scary, but there is such a thing as struggling just to struggle, just to feel like that's how you're gonna feel okay. And this month is asking you to maybe not go there. So like I said, we're gonna be diving so much deeper into all of these transits over on Patreon. It is such a beautiful, sweet community. I learned so much from you all um, in our discussions over there and I would love to see you. We are going to be going full on with these eclipses definitely diving deeper into the Mercury retrograde. And we are in the midst of doing our Venus retrograde work with worksheets and tap-ins every single week. So I'd love to see you over there. And I have solstice blessings for you, my friends. Just for my Sages, here are my solstice blessings to you. May your soul shine bright and crisp and kind and clear. May peace and joy surround you. May playfulness and hope rise up in you and support you in exploring your path. May you be open to surprise. May you let yourself lean into the changes within you. Cheers. Yes, this is a time to let those changes within you 
blossom and bloom. Really take your time around that solstice to check in and, and just think about how much has shifted in the last six months alone, let alone over the last year. I'm sending you all so much love. I will see you so soon for this full moon in Sagittarius and this eclipse. And I will hopefully see you over on Patreon as well. That has changed my life and really helped me during this time. So I would love to see you over there. Thank you so much for your support. I'm sending you so much love and I'll talk to you very soon.